Hold on, let me, I'll tell you right now why it's bad for you. Tell me right the fuck now why it's bad for you. Here we go. I'm asking chat GPT. Do you ask chat GPT everything? Yeah, it's, okay. it's the future. Dude, I haven't used it yet. You haven't? No, like I've heard about it. This is a situation to use it for. Okay. Here are a few reasons why some people might argue that Beyond Meat could have negative effects. Okay. Highly processed. Okay, yeah. Beyond Meat, um, they go through significant amounts of processing to create their meat like texture and taste. That's why. They got to do all this fake shit yeah. to make it seem real. Yeah. High in sodium. Okay. Uh, Beyond Meat products can be relatively high in sodium. Um, preservatives, additives, uh to enhance flavor. They're doing all this shit just to make it seem like real food. Okay. We're talking about Beyond Meat. Yeah. This podcast is not sponsored by Beyond Meat. We're actually talking shit about Beyond Meat right now. Yeah. Beyond but Meat products are designed to mimic the taste and texture of meat, but they may not offer the same nutritional benefits okay. as the meat. Yeah, but red meat... Uh, bad for you. Just Google that. Yeah, but every once in a while it's good. That's Red what the meat. cavemen survived on in ancient times. Type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, certain cancers. Oh, okay. That sounds fun. Here we go. That sounds fun. That's real meat. Where are you on? Are you on ChatGPT or Google? Google. It's You're on Go Google. I'm on Google. Google's outdated. You need I'm on Chat Google. GPT. All right, ChatGPT. Can GPT. you die from, from Beyond Red Meat? meat. Beyond Real meat. meat. Real meat. No, consuming Beyond Meat products, you can't die. However, however, it's important to note. Oh, if you're allergic to you, some things, you, you can die. You from could it. die. You <laughs> could die. You could die. You could possibly die. Mm -hmm. I think it has like coconut oil. I don't know. Maybe you're allergic to that. Coconut oil. Yeah, in it. Look, you, it's not. I idea. use that on my knees. It's not ideal. <clears throat> Let's talk more about that. Using coconut oil yeah, on my knees? Tell me about it. Um, I feel like lotion is cool, mm. but it don't get deep within. So you go for the oil. The coconut oil, it gets deep in them pores. Wow. Mm -hmm. Really? Do you yeah. oil up everywhere? Uh, yeah, I do. How often? Except for my face. How often? Every time I get out of the shower. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And if you don't? Then I have a horrible day. My day is ruined. Really? Yeah. Does it affect you negatively? It'll, yes, it will. Because I'll think about it. Like, I'll be dry. I'll do this and I'll be like dry. Yeah. 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 And it just messes with your whole day. Mm -hmm. I used to do cocoa butter back when I was a kid, but then technology got crazy, so now they got coconut oil. I love coconut oil. It's so good. It's really nice. You put it in your food, though? No. I oh, put you it don't? on my body. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Some people put it in their food. They do. Mm -hmm. I can't get past the smell. I'd rather have olive oil. Yeah, olive oil is good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Coconut oil is very strong. It is. It's a lot. It's intense. It's very intense. It's Coconut really oil. intense. So, it's, Yeah, especially I couldn't imagine that on my food. Right? I would probably throw up. That's what I'm saying. Unless you're having like a coconut curry, right? Cook you, it with some coconut oil. You had coconut curry before? Yeah. With what? Asparagus? Yeah. Tofu. <laughs> Yeah, that's disgusting. Dude, don't act like you didn't have a vegan face. No, I, I didn't have no vegan I face. I literally remember your vegan I face. I was faking just to fit in. I literally remember. <laughs> now, we're going to talk about, do you remember when we met? Yeah. So it was like, I want to say it was like eight years ago at this point. Maybe longer. Uh, maybe Wait. even longer. Yeah. And literally, okay, so my friend Portia. How is she doing? You know, I don't know. I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible <laughs> So maybe don't friend. call her friend anymore. Maybe just say Portia. But it's this like, girl I used to know. No, because that's the thing. It's like some people, even though you lose touch, mm -hmm. they'll always be your friend. Damn. Do you know what I mean? Like when I think of Portia, I go friend, even though we have not been on the phone in literally years. How many years would you say? It's been a couple. Like and how I many? All right. Think about it. All right. All right. The last time I saw her was like three years ago. And then, Oh, that's not bad. The no? pandemic. You could just blame it on the pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah. 
pandemic. But then in those th- when when you started <clears throat> three years ago, you guys would see each other frequently. No, sporadically. It like we when around but like eight nine years ago, we mm-hmm. were all right. We met on a commercial, a Capital One commercial. Mm-hmm. Shout out Capital One. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sponsored by Capital One right now? <laughs> no. Is that what bought this house? Actually, we're sponsored by AG1. Oh, okay. Do you know AG1? Uh, that's a, is that insurance? Athletic Greens. It's like Joe Rogan also sponsors it. Is I'm it not vegan? bragging, I'm just saying. Is it vegan? Yes. Oh. Dude, it's a plant, it's a nutritional insurance, AG1. It's got 75 different minerals and vitamins all in one drink. All you have to Where do- Where the chicken at? Where the chicken at? All you do and the steak is do one scoop, shake it up. Wait, it's a drink. <laughs> it's not even food. You it's ain't a, even getting no rice with a, it. No, it's a powder, like a green powder. It tastes sweet though. You want to try it? No, I want Ath- rice and chicken. Athleticgreens.com/slash/idiotpodcast. Again, that's athleticgreens slash KFC. Maybe Popeyes. Come on. Athleticgreens. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go to Roscoe's, get them canned yams, my boy. <laughs> Athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast. You keep plugging these people, they ain't got no chicken. Take the do- it, ta- it, it takes the doctor away, okay? It's better than an apple. It takes the doctor away? <laughs> what do you mean it takes the doctor away? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why I can't talk. Cause I thought in my head I was like an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, and then keeps I, the doctor away, not takes them away. <laughs> anyway, if you order Athletic Greens, all right, if you order through me, you get one year free supply of immune supporting vitamin D. You get a year free? How does this company make money? <laughs> Who are these know. people? <laughs> No, something's not adding up. Plus five free travel packs. And I get to go where I want? <laughs> yeah, yeah all the website? expenses paid. This is, all expenses paid. You're lying. Paid. What's the website? Athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast. Greens. Batch, I'm telling you. Wait. You're why gonna... was I already on this site? It already popped up. Athleticgreens.com slash. Because you were already on it because you know what's up. And you know athletic. It's all about Andrew athletic Andrew Huberman. Greens. Is that your boy? I don't know who that is. He the CEO. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. All right, what's the slash? Athleticgreens.com slash? Idiot podcast. Idiot podcast. Yeah. Just get it. Just try it. Benefit. You know what you could do? You could drink it and then order some chicken and rice on the side. Yourself. Oh, that's cool. They got a black hand. They have what? A black hand. Look at that. Diversity. See? All right, I'll support. All inclusive with, uh, with uh, athletic Who is this? Is this a white hand or a black is hand? Is that a black hand? That's a medium hand. That's definitely like a, yeah. That's a mixed hand. For That's sure. mixed. Yeah. Or are they just trying to They've learn? They've got mixed hands, black hands. Oh, here. This is Look Andrew. Look at big Andrew. old white face. <laughs> Andrew Huberman. <laughs> he looks intense. <laughs> Your boy looks intense. Andrew Huberman? Like, what's he, what's he doing? I want to know what the rest of his body's doing. You think he's just in his underwear right now? Just <laughs> yeah, why did they have to cut it before the chin? Yeah. He's like, I can't have my chin in this shot. Athletic Greens, all right. <clears throat> Athletic Greens, I'm just saying, Joe Rogan drinks it. Do you like Joe Rogan? Yeah, he's cool. You like him? Yeah. You he, like him, don't you? He does the MMA? I don't know. He has a podcast, the biggest podcast in the world. It is? I thought this was the biggest podcast in the world. This is, it goes my podcast and then ben Joe Hayes. Rogan. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. But he's cool. second. Damn. He is second. I got to check him out. He's up and coming. He, he literally, be. yeah, whatever. It, it doesn't fucking matter. We're all going to die, okay? None of, <laughs> <laughs> what? None of this matters. Mm. Do you ever just do that, like, through the day? Like, you'll just be doing your life and then you're just like, none of this matters? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, not even in a morbid way, just in like a, nah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just a fucking game. Like, it's not life, a big deal. Life. Life. Yeah. Life is a game. Tell me. You if, try to win. I feel like you try to win. Yeah, try And to you win. do win. Yeah. So, why are you such a winner in life? Um, it's the Matrix. Okay. We're in the Matrix. Do you believe that? Or that we're in a simulation? Yeah. You know about simulation theory? A little bit. 
a little uh, bit. Talk to me about it. Okay, this is this is from what I remember. And I think I actually learned this from the Joe Rogan podcast. Ding. We were just talking about him. That's so crazy. Um, But I don't know if it was Joe Rogan, actually. It was Elon Musk that said it. He said that... Oh, uh, Joe Rogan, probably. Was it maybe? Maybe, maybe. it was. But he said that... Uh, the first video game was this game called Pong, where it's like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Remember that game? Mm-hmm. I lied. I don't. You don't? No. You remember Snake, though, right? Damn, no. You don't remember Snake? Uh, I remember Tetris. Tetris. Okay. So, like, maybe, like, five years before Tetris, there was a game called Snake. <laughs> and then now, video games are so advanced like with the VR and stuff, it feels like you're almost in them, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and that's over like 50, 60 years. Mm-hmm. Like that's how fast the the um, the gaming systems have advanced. Yeah. Now what simulation theory is saying that in 2000 years, at the rate that video games are uh, evolving, the games will be so real that you won't even know that you're in them. This is Alex Oliver. You can get it. You know it. Alex Oliver? You, uh, writer, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, Alex. Uh, Alex, what's Alex. up, dude? I'm, I'm on a podcast right now just explaining simulation theory. Say hello. What's up, Alex? <laughs> hello, hello. It's Laura Clary. How we doing? I just read your script. It's fucking amazing. Oh. What script did you read? Oh, my script. Oh, I thought you meant my script. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant her well, script, too. Which script did you yeah, read? Send that over, too. I'll read it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, I'll call you after this podcast. Sounds good, man. All right. Bye-bye. Great writer. Great, yeah. Solid writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, well, okay, so yeah, the rate that video games are expansing, uh, expanding in 2,000 years, it, video games will be so realistic, you won't even be able to tell that you're in the video game. It'll feel like real life. So what simulation theory is saying is that it's already been 2,000 years, and we're in a video game right now. But do you believe it? Believe, believe. Whoa. What? You just glitched. No, I didn't. Simulation theory is real. No, I did not. Athleticgreens.com <laughs> slash idiot podcast. Pod, pod, podcast. Pod, pod, podcast. <laughs> we take doctors away. <laughs> Wait, so, all right. How are you such a winner though? Simulation, what is like, so who designed you to be so amazing? Oh, uh, I don't, we don't have the answers. Okay. We only have the questions. All right. Damn, that's deep. How do you feel? Of, damn, is that deep or? What that shit. Yeah, we should. We should. Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? We should do something. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> We I don't, don't have the answers. We, we only, only have, have the, the questions. questions. Or this, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, though. It's really not. Oh, okay. Like, like no, because you're right. We don't have the answers. Like, I even think that with, like, God. Like, I, I would say, I believe in a higher power. I pray. But I don't know what God is. And anyone who says, like, I know exactly what God is, like, I think is a little crazy. Like, yeah. a slightly. Mm-hmm. How do you know? You don't know. We don't know. Yeah. We have faith. We can have faith. If you were to imagine, if you were to imagine what God looked like, what would he look like to you? Like, cause for me, I don't see like a man in the sky. Like that's not. Right. I, God to me is like the power of life itself. It's like existence and mm-hmm. love. And it's not like a dude. What, what does God look like to you? I don't know, but I feel like he in a robe. All right. And he got like a big head. Big ass head? A big ass head. Big ass head, tiny little hands. And I think he got a beard maybe? though. A tiny what? Tiny hands? Tiny hands. I didn't even know he had hands. <laughs> <laughs> I like this God. Big ass head, big tiny head, little hands. Tiny hands. I never see his feet. No. Um, Always in a robe. Always in a robe. Coconut oiled up. He's so much coconut oil. He's moisturized. Yeah. And then sometimes um, I'm like, how can this, this man control all of this too much power for one man? Yeah. But then we realize he's not a man. He's not a man. Mm-hmm. So, all right. But, but really, though, I want to know, wait, where are you from? Canada to Florida to Los Angeles. When, how old were you when you came here? 2010. And so. then... 
2010. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then when, like when you were a kid, did you always know what you wanted to do? Were you one of those types? Yeah, yeah. I always wanted to be an actor ever since I was like, I think it was, it was the, I watched the movie The Mask with oh Jim Carrey. Oh my God. And I was like, ooh, I want to do that. Really? Yeah. So that came out in 1994 in theaters, but I wasn't allowed to watch movies in theaters yet. So I had to wait till it came out, not on DVD or VHS. I had to wait till it came out on TV. So I probably didn't see it till 1997. Wow. Or 1996, 97, yeah. And like that was the movie that kind of changed your life in a way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Favorite color is green because of Jim Carrey. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow, great movie. Yeah. So then, but then you, were you always like a class clown? Um, yeah, I got in trouble a lot. That's what that means, right? I don't, yeah, yeah. Like you were funny. Like, were you always funny? Like yeah, with your friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cause like for me, I was like, I felt like I was like their entertainment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, it was like, oh, bring Laura. Cause like, we'll laugh. Right, all right, yeah. And then yeah, you were I, like. I don't know if I was more of laugh or more of just like, be silly. You were I was silly. silly yeah. I was silly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then now we're like silly for a living. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah, we're clowns. Yeah, we're professional clowns. Damn. That's crazy. That's kind of sad. Yeah. All this built up to for be us. a clown. <laughs> to be a clown in simulation theory. We could do whatever we want. We decided to be a clown. But who's controlling us then? In this so simulation theory. In simulation theory, theory yeah. the person controlling us would be God. So God could be like some Dude. some kid who's just like just like Cheetos all over him, just playing the video game. Can you imagine mm -hmm. some little eleven-year-old dirty-ass kid just mm -hmm. toes out? Toes are out. <laughs> you gotta know. Toes Hundred percent toes are out. Yeah. Oh yeah, and toes. they're filthy. And they're filthy. Yeah, the nails are way too long. Way too long. They're getting Got caught some dirt on things. In it. Yeah, dirt in the sure. nails. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. Kids are disgusting. Yeah, dog shit on the carpet. For sure. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care. Doesn't care. It's no. a kid. Too busy controlling Batch. Yeah. I mean, he's done a good job. I could have gotten better shoes. Yeah, he could have done better with those shoes, but same here. Yeah. I don't know. I like Keds. Hmm? I like Keds. Kids? Keds. Keds. I hate kids. Love Keds. What are Keds? Is it, those your shoes? Yeah. Oh. Like when I was a kid, I would wear these and I just never stopped. Oh, because they're like comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And they're so cute. Mm-hmm. Straight to the point. Don't. Okay. So wait, where were we? Simulation, God, Athletic Greens, Chicken, wait, yeah, Beyond chicken. Meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. I need to know something really deep about you right now. Deep? What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Yeah. I'm like Batman. I have no fears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my biggest fear. Mm -hmm. um, watching watching a horror film, and then it coming to life. Whoa. Yeah. Like yeah. Like you ever seen that movie Barbarian? Did I? Is that the one with the levels? No. No, that's the one with the. Um, Which one's Barbarian? With the. Uh, she goes to Airbnb, someone's booked at the same time. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. And there's it's the thing, the monsters in, in the, the basement. In the basement. Yeah. Because that that's so realistic. It's yes. like, oh, that could kind of be real. Yes. And um, then the dude, like the actor dude, was accused of sexual assault, right? And then yeah, it was his Justin place. Justin Long. Justin Long, yeah. 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 That's yeah. so funny. So, so, so you watched that and you were like, that could happen. That could happen. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So not death then. No, we're all going to die. And you're in acceptance of that. Yeah. Cause I'm just reminding you that it's going to happen. And right. You're, and, but you're in acceptance of it. It's, it's gotta happen. Yeah. So I saw this one like spiritual teacher, whatever was like a TikTok video. You watch TikTok? Sometimes. You like watch TikTok? Oh, sometimes you I like scroll. scroll on TikTok? Sometimes I scroll. Sometimes? Yeah. But but not, not too anymore. Much. Not anymore. Mm -mm. Why? 
um, it'll consume you. Because you'll just keep going and keep going. And then, like, sometimes you're like, oh, this is a funny one. Okay, I'll do two more funny ones. And then unfunny one, unfunny one. Mm-hmm. Then you see a funny one. And you're like, oh, this one's hilarious. I'll do three more funny ones. Yeah. You just keep going. I know. And then it's like one in the morning. Mm-hmm. You didn't get any work done. Mm-hmm. And then you see a sad one and you're all depressed. They got sad ones on there? You don't see the sad ones? My explore page is different. Damn. Because you keep it light. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, sorry, I didn't have a Do you coaster. want more water? No, 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 it's glass. What's it going to do? You're right. What's it going to do? Break. Oh. <laughs> you just shatter the entire table. <laughs> um, what else? So, okay, this is not an interview, Batch. This is a conversation. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. We didn't get to how we met. Oh, yeah. Because we went... Oh, we were talking about Portia. Right. Portia, shout out to Portia Thomas. Where where are you, girl? <laughs> Call me. She's three years in the past right now. She's not watching this. She doesn't give a shit. Oh, really? No, she does. I'm just kidding. Oh, but, you know, I've seen her. Um, what? Yeah, I saw her. Where did you see her? Her and Russell Simmons were at uh, Catch Steak. Like, Recently? Yeah, like a couple months ago. Really? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, so I saw them. Wow. Now, all right, so you, you've seen her. But, okay, so I met her at Capital One Commercial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we were playing, like, runway models or whatever. And I can't, like, walk in heels, so I was, like, falling over. It doesn't matter. But she came up to me during lunch break, and she was like, hey, like, do you want to write a web series with me? And I was like, what's that? Mm-hmm. It was like at that time where it was just all so new. Yeah. Well, web series weren't really things back no. then, right? No. And like nobody calls them web series. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what that is. Let's exchange numbers, whatever. And then I like cut to like a couple weeks later. I had auditioned for this pilot. It was like my fourth callback. I knew I was going to get it. It was going to be the next friends. Like that this was it for me Mm -hmm. and then i get a call on my way home from my agent saying hey they offered the role to like brooklyn decker or some shit like someone else Mm. and i was so devastated and i sort of like hit a breaking point because it was you know like as an actor you have like no control yeah and you're just like at the whim of whatever director like producer Mm -hmm. casting director and i feel like i had been doing it at that point for so many years um and it was at that point where I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm just going to create my own stuff now. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to wait for anyone else to, like, hire me. Yeah. I'm just going to make my own shit. So I was like, I know. I'll call that girl Portia from the Capital One commercial. Yeah. She wants to write something. Like, yeah. let me just do that. Mm-hmm. So I call her. And I'm like, yo, you want to write this thing? She was like, yeah. And then it was like a couple weeks later, we, we pitched it to Russell Simmons. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, let's do it. And then Portia's like, I've got the perfect idea for a director. His name's King Batch, and he's got 50,000 followers on YouTube. I had 50,000 back then? Yes, and I just remember, like, that number specifically. I remember (laughs) going, like, he has 50,000 followers? (laughs) And she's like, yeah. And she's like, and he's so talented and so funny. And, And then she was, like, showing me all your stuff, and she showed me, like, it was like you did some parody of maybe it was Speed, the movie Speed on oh, the bus. Do you yeah. remember that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a uh, flight. Oh no! You were Speed? like, yes. Tell me you did that. I know you. I did, did something on a bus. But on a bus. It, yeah, but that was flight. Okay. All yeah. right. So it was flight. Okay. All yeah. right. Whatever. So she was showing me that, and I was like, wow. And then yeah, and then and then so you directed yeah. the pilot, right? Yeah, I think so. You did. For, it was you for did. all deaf, right? You did. Yeah, for all deaf yeah. digital. Yep. Yeah. Five minutes is that? Okay. We have to change the batteries in oh, five okay, minutes, okay. and then we and then we can like start again. Right, There's right. only like two more hours. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let me just, clear my schedule. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 So. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, then we did that, and that's how we met. Mm-hmm. Cute. Yeah. Oh, and then, like, I swear it was like a fucking year later, I see a 
like New Yorker, you are on the cover, oh. like King of Vine, <laughs> and it was like so crazy how yeah. that happened in just like a year. Or something. I know it was wild. Let's talk about that. Fifty thousand. I want to talk about that. Um, yeah, I, I went from three thousand followers to like a million followers in like six months or something. And how and how did you do it? Steroids. A lot of HGH. Lots of drugs. Yeah, lots of drugs. Okay, <clears throat> lots and lots of drugs. Kids, if you're looking to become a content creator, mm -hmm. blow up on social media. Mm -hmm. Drugs. You gotta, you gotta get the needle. Just get it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Left butt cheek only though. Mm -hmm. But really, like what consistency? Consistency, yeah. uh, dedication, mm -hmm. and cocaine. Those were the uh, three wow. factors. That's yeah. really solid. <laughs> Did no. you ever like get, so then you became like one of the biggest content creators in the world. Mm -hmm. And did it feel like imposter syndrome or did you feel like, no, this is exactly what I'm meant to be doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't uh, look at it, um, you know, with, with getting followers and stuff is that back then, yeah, that wasn't really a thing. It was just like, yeah. I think back then it was just like, oh, you make, you do YouTube videos, how many views do your videos get? No one cared about the followers back then. Wow. I think nowadays it's more like, oh, how many followers do you have? But back then it was just like, make these, make these videos. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really think about it. <laughs> I'm just living in this game. I love that. You're yeah. just living in the simulation. Mm-hmm. Being controlled by my creator Rick. Wow. That's his name. Shout out to Rick. Shout out to Rick. Yo, Rick, Shout keep it there. going, keep it moving. Yeah. Update the batteries though. I think it's we're getting a little slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta speed that up. Gotta Maybe speed that up. Rick, can you give him a little more cocaine? <laughs> it's a little more juice. A little, a little bit of that juice, nose Rick. candy. Um, but then, did you do you ever feel like? Uh, did you ever feel burnt out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I no. took a two-year break. Stop. Yeah, like the last two years. I just didn't make content. Meaning these last two years? Mm-hmm. I just started this year. Dude, I feel you so hard. Like, I definitely, th this last year, I feel like. I've still made stuff, but not nearly the extent that yeah. I... Because, like, th when I really got into it, I was like posting every single day and it was like such a grind. You're mm -hmm. just like constantly yeah. creating mm -hmm. and it's fun and exciting, but then the burnout is real. Oh yeah. So you took two years. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. And then what did you do? In those cocaine. <laughs> okay. For a whole two years now. Okay. Actually. You know, I've never done cocaine. I, I know that. <laughs> I like know that. Um, I uh, traveled. Um, I toured for my stand-up. How's um, that? It's good. Do you love it? I love it. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. Because it's like, when you do videos online, it's cool. You get the comments and stuff. But like when you're actually performing a live show, it's like... You've got seven seconds. Wrap this shit up. Oh, there we go. And then we're just going to change the batteries, and then we can just do a little bit more. Yeah, so stand-up... Mm -hmm. um, Took that year to do the tour. Um, sound. Sorry. Yeah, it took that took that year to do the tour. What was it mm -hmm. 2017 or 18? Um, and uh, yeah, I just didn't film any content. And now I'm going back on tour. Get tickets, kingbatch.com. Hmm. Uh, Whoa. And where are you going? Uh, Everywhere? Chicago, Fargo, anything with an O in it. Ohio. Okay. You'll only do the O's. Yeah. States? Only okay. do the O's. I get that. Yeah. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, wow. And do you do how long is your set? An hour. How long did it take you to, to do that? Um, I've been doing stand up since 2010. Okay. So. Is that your favorite thing? Yeah. More than content creating? It's like the same thing. It's like the same thing. Yeah, because you're, you're still writing. You're still content creating. It's just now you have to figure out a different way to tell the story. Wow. Have you ever bombed? Oh, yeah. Tell me about that. Um, I was in Miami. 
Yeah, shit. I told a really offensive joke. Tell it. Um, I'll get canceled now if I tell it. For real? Oh, yeah. For real? Oh, for real. Tell me, like, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how you get set up. No, just uh, like let's just say people were booing and <gasps> it was like it was like uh, there was a balcony and a guy mm -hmm. jumped off the balcony, broke his legs, crawled to the stage just to boo me. Stop. Stop. Kinda epic. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Come on, I gotta know. Come to a show and you'll find out. I tell the joke at the show because no one records. <laughs> you still tell the joke? I still tell the joke. Get out of here. Yeah, because everyone always wants to know, like, if I ever got booed before, if I ever bombed. So at the shows, I tell people the time where I got... And you um, tell them the joke. I tell them. And now what's their response? They think it's hilarious. What's yeah. What's that about? Because context. Yeah. They think it's funny. Yeah, they think it's like, oh, they booed you for that? Yeah. 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 Wow. But if you just told the joke, they might boo you again. But if you're like, I just, I got booed. I think it's because 10 years, it, not 10 years, uh, 13 years ago, whatever, when I was telling that joke, I didn't know how to do stand up. So, like, <gasps> wow. the delivery was different. The, yeah. The things. Um, wow. Yeah. So now, knowing having the uh the stand up um expertise now that i have yeah i'm able to tell it in a way where it's actually funny now where before it was just offensive but comedy offends everybody like all types of comedy and do you feel like now because it's so different than where we were like 10 years ago mm -hmm. people get so offended especially like gen z i feel like gets really offended by a lot of different things. They get offended online. Like in yeah. actual comedy, sh a a in actual, like in person, people don't really get offended. Really? Yeah, it's just online. I think people do it for the attention. Wow, they want like power and they're yeah. bored. So yeah, then live is where it's at. Yeah, live is where it's at. Wow, and then what about like movies? Oh, we love those. We love those. We love a good film. We love a good movie. What's the last movie I saw? Oh, Flash. Do the I need Flash. to see it? Yeah. Do you yeah. like action? No, don't see it. Meh. Don't see it. Meh. It's not that I don't. I just don't watch it. Oh. But when I do. Y'all watch? You like guys Marvel like Marvel and DC? Yeah. yeah. And you know DC movies are usually bad, right? The Flash? It might be better than some Marvel movies. This new Flash. Did you see it? No, it didn't come out yet. Oh, it didn't come out yet. Mm -mm. But it comes out June 13th or something. Okay. Yeah. You know Rudy Mancuso, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's in it. Really? Yeah. Wow. He plays, um, he plays the guy's best friend, the Flash's best friend. What do you think you'll be doing when you're 80? Um, 80? Mm-hmm. Man, I'll probably be um, swimming. Really? Yeah. Good on the joints. Easy yeah. Easy on the joints. Oh, swimming in pussy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, cool, 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 yeah. cool, 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 cool. Um, I see that for you too. Mm-hmm. When I'm eighty, I'll have a, I'll still have my six pack. You just be swimming in pussy. Yeah. Just like. That eighty-year-old dick. Just swimming. Yeah. Oh, no, I have a dick transplant. Oh, okay. So I have a 22-year-old dick. Yeah. 22-year-old dick. Mm -hmm. dick, but 80-year-old balls. Ah, you want to keep the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting choice. Yeah. Fresh dick, saggy-ass balls. Fresh dick, saggy balls. It'll be a new trend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a guy. He's 70 years old. First of all, I don't know if you heard, uh, I think last week or the week before, uh, they found a way for the first time to reverse age in mice. So they got a mice to actually reverse age backwards. So I might be 80 year old with, you know, 22. That might be possible. That might be possible to have that 22 year old dick. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah.
Did the mice's dick reverse? I don't know. I didn't go that far into research, but I'll, 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 I'll find out. Do you mind Googling mice dick? Let me see. I got to turn on my VPN. I don't want the government to track <laughs> this. <laughs> reverse age on mice. Manipulating the aging process. Huh. They don't have enough information yet. Really? Yeah. But they're saying there's a new research showing the aging process may be reversible. Are humans next? Wow. Is batch next? Is batch. Is that what it says? No, that's what it needs to say. Right. Okay. Is batch next? Imagine I get my eyesight back. Are you blind? Are you actually blind? Legally. Are you legally blind? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my, my uh, eyesight's pretty bad. I got, um, I think it's a 4.25, negative 3.75. Yeah. Damn, that sounds horrible. I yeah. don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. You have 2020? That sounds bad. You got 2020? No. Oh. No. You wear contacts? No. Nothing? I can see you fine. Wow. You know where I don't have good eyesight? When I drive at night mm. blind. Really? Drive during the day, I can see crystal clear. Oh, how often do you drive at night? Not very much. Mm. I, I have no social life. Mm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll leave the house. Not much. It's fine. What I'm, do you leave the house for? The grocery store. That's it? Yeah. Wow, yeah. you really are in a simulation. No, I go like out to dinner and stuff sometimes. What kind of uh, food do you go out to dinner to eat? Vegan, fake meat. Disgusting. <laughs> no, like, but I do eat plant-based and so did you. Don't act like you didn't have a plant-based phase. I fucking remember it. I remember it and you would, you would make us go to some like juice bar every morning. <laughs> juice bar for like your green juice yeah you oh right the there on a uh, sunset yes mm -hmm. so don't act i wonder if they shut down don't act like you weren't all about the kale and all about the plant base that was a that was lifetimes ago that was a dark time for you mm -hmm. you were still figuring it out i was still figuring not yeah. life out do you feel like you have life figured out now um i just don't care really yeah who keeps calling me who oh it's hannah pick it up who is that? It's Hannah. 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 Hey. What's going on, girl? I'm learning how to motorcycle. I love the fit. <laughs> We're on a podcast. We're doing her podcast right now, so I'll call you back. Nice. She's on a motorcycle. <laughs> Hannah Stocking is on a motorcycle for the first time, and you guys are seeing it live on this podcast. Bye, don't die. All right, we're don't, gonna come later. Don't die. Uh, what time uh, are we done here? We've got like four hours. We no. got four hours. No. No. Hours. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, see you All right, bye. 30 minutes. Motorcycles, I don't recommend them. Dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. But she's got a big ass helmet on. That was one big ass helmet. Yeah, big ass helmet, but still very dangerous. Right? Mm -hmm. Have you been on one? Yeah. And? Dangerous. Right? Yeah. You could die. Yeah. Look, I got video of me on one. Well, we need to see that immediately. Look at this. This was last week. Oh my God. Whoa. Stand Look at you go. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What, what, what were we saying before that? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, you don't care. You oh, were yeah. saying you don't care. Mm -hmm. Why don't you care? So, it, it, none of it matters. <laughs> you just, right? Yeah. You're just yeah. living life. You just got to be happy. You're just living life. Just and like, what's the key then? What's the key to being happy then? The key to being happy... In food, your, okay. Good yeah. food. Mm -hmm. Um, good, good friends. 
Yes, agreed. Um, good sex. Mm. Um, good cocaine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Would you say, I think another key is being present, being in the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you're thinking about what you have to do next week or what happened last week. Right. Anxiety, depression. Yeah. Stress, sadness. That's true. But when we're right here in this moment, mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. everything's fine. That's why I don't um, have a calendar. I don't do a schedule. Like if you didn't text me, I would have forgotten. That's how present I am. <laughs> wait, wait. If I didn't text you like 45 minutes before being like, hey, do you want veggie grill? You would not have shown up. I would have not known where I am. <laughs> I'm so present, dude. Are you serious? Bro, I'm present as fuck. But no, no. If I didn't text you, would you have remembered? Nope. Wait, for real, for real? Really? Really? Yeah, I'd have been in bed. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, you would have remembered. Yeah. But you didn't write it in your calendar? No, I don't I don't write I don't have a calendar. I don't really use one either too much, but I yeah. find like and I don't know what it is, but I find like sometimes I do forget shit now, like mm. uh, cuz I don't or like I'll put it in my calendar and I won't look at it and yeah. then I'll like forget a meeting and I'll be like, "Whoops." Do you yeah, ever I do just that? I just I try not to that's why I try not to book so many things. Like if I can't remember it, like I won't, I won't, like I'll say no to a lot of things just so I can like keep my schedule. So I know I have this today and I got a stand-up show on Thursday and then like, yeah. I just love that you're doing what you love and you are so good at it and you're living in your purpose and that's really inspiring. Thank you. It's really inspiring. Thank you. I wonder what led you to believe that you were deserving of this. What, did you were you really loved by your mom or your dad? Did they love and support you? Um, yeah, yeah. I think they loved and support me, but they didn't. They didn't think any of this was possible. Really? Yeah. They thought like it was a pipe dream. Or... Yeah. They were like, well, "You're not even Will Smith. You can't do that." <laughs> I'm like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And did that? discourage you or did it make you go like watch me i don't think it was a watch me mm. i think it was more of like um well let me try at least and did you have a plan b no same i was just gonna be homeless i didn't same. care fucking same yeah. i literally was like it's this or homeless yeah so it's this or i'm sucking dick for cash you for know? real for real that was it mm -hmm. no in between there's no nine to five yeah it's Ugh. this or crack house. Yep. Mm hmm Content or crack house? Yeah. That, that was it for me. Yeah. Now, now I can do both. You know? Yeah. We're really living it up now. Mm hmm Yeah. Occasionally. Actually, I'm going to go to a crack house right after this. You want to crack house right now? Yeah, I'm you down. You want to text me the Addy? Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. I'll drop a pin. Great. It's in Great. my recent searches, too. Great. Love that. I love that for us. Mm hmm Anything else you want to add? Go see him on tour, you guys. If you if you live in a state that's that has an O in it, mm -hmm. he'll be in your. I'll be there. Yes. Oh, Nashville doesn't have an O, but I'll be there too. Oh wow, you're making an exception. Yeah. So that's like what you're doing for the next for how long? Um, for the next forever. Really? Yeah, you're I'm gonna try gonna and keep... visit every state. Stop. Yeah. That's so fun. Mm -hmm. And now you're making content again, just here and there? Yeah. So I, I try and shoot um, YouTube all the time. Really? Yeah. When you say YouTube, do you mean shorts? No, like the actual. What, um, do you, what kind of content on YouTube? Um, I actually just did one with, with a man in the other day um, where she was like a, an owner of, of, a, of a bar and I kept messing up. And she's like, next time you mess up, we're taking out your paycheck. So then it's like a series of me like trying to like do the job well, but I, of course, I fuck it up yeah. for, you know, comedy reasons. Yeah, 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 like comedy stuff. And then um, she threatens to, uh, she kidnaps my cat, and then she, th she threatens to kill it. Oh, yeah. your veggie grill's here. Veggie grill's here. Wow. Hell yeah. So, okay, and like you're having fun making it? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's a time, like maybe you needed that two years to yeah, I just I just didn't get challenged anymore yep. by like TikTok and Reels. Like it was just like 
trends and dances, and I was just like, oh, it's boring. So um, I liked writing scripts and directing, and so I just went back to that by doing YouTube. Wow. Yeah, Bachelor's Pad TV, check it out. Bachelor's we gotta get you in one. Like, obviously, I'm mm -hmm. here. I don't do anything else. True. True. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Oh, we will. Let's make the best sketch that anyone's ever seen in their entire, in the entire life. life. Yeah. Let's make the most viewed video that's ever been. What is the most viewed video? What is it? Can we Google that? What is it, Gangnam style? Chat GPT. Chat GPT, that shit. Let's see. Most, most viewed video. Viewed. Baby Shark. What is it? Video. Is that it? Is it? Am I right? Baby Shark? Really? Am I right? <gasps> wow. Oh, Baby yeah. So Shark it used to be Gangnam Style, and then Baby Shark became the first video to hit 10. Is that billion? 10 billion views. I knew it. Any advice you have for people that want to be happy like you and f creatively fulfilled? You have an abundant life in every area. Friends, mm. family, work, mm -hmm. creativity, mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. You're glowing. Oh, Coconut, Coconut oil, oil. Right. coming off the body. Mm -hmm. You're just killing it in every way. I thank you. And I love it. I love to see that. The secret is don't do cocaine. Okay. Wow. Athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, I love that. That's inspiring as shit. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Anything you want to promote? Anything else? Um, no, that's it. Come see a show. Yeah. Go watch a vid. Go watch a vid. Mm-hmm. Go see a show. Mm-hmm. Laugh a little. Yeah. Nothing matters. Mm-hmm. It's all a simulation. Mm-hmm. Be in today. Mm -hmm. Don't eat beyond meat. Yeah. Don't Drink athletic greens. Dot com. Crack house. Idiot podcast. Still go to crack house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, uh, go, still to go to crack, crack house. house. Just don't do cocaine. Right. Crack is okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, we'll end on that. Yeah. We'll end on that. Cut it. Cut it. Cut that shit. Cut it. Woo! <laughs>